Hi guys, it's your girl Shujata, aka Lil Pixie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know it's been two weeks since I've uploaded a video, but if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I have given my laptop for servicing, and it was there for like one week, so I couldn't edit any of my videos. So now I've got it back, and I promise to be active again. So today I have a very exciting video for you guys, and that is a comparison video between the Pons BB cream and the Lakme CC cream. So now, can you tell the difference which side is which? Let me know in the comment section below. So it has been a huge debate as to which is better. Like I have been to college, I have seen a lot of girls using the Pons one, a lot of one using the Lakme one. So I'll be putting both to test to figure out which is actually the best. Also, I have oily, acne-prone skin, so I'll be judging it based on that. Now, talking about the shade range, the Pons one comes only in two shades, while the Lakme one comes in four shades, which is definitely better than the Pons one. Now I have got the shade 01 original in the Pons one and the shade 03 beige in the Lakme one. Now the Pons one comes in variety of different sizes like in 9 gram, 18 gram, 30 gram and 50 gram while the Lakme one only comes in two sizes 9 gram and 30 grams. So if you just want to try out I would say go for the smaller one. Now the 9 gram of both of it is under rupees 100 like the Lakme one costs around rupees 99 for 9 grams and the Pons one retails for Rs. 67 for 9 grams. So you can definitely try out before you invest in a full size or a bigger size product. Also what I love about both of these is that they have SPF of 30 in it. Now talking about the texture, the Pons one is definitely very thick. Like it is very thick and it is blending pretty well. It does have a fragrance to it but it is not very strong. It has a very subtle Pons fragrance like if you have used the Pons cold cream before you would definitely recognize that smell. And this is the texture of the Lakme one. This definitely feels more lightweight and it feels like a moussey texture. This also have a fragrance to it. I can't figure out what fragrance it actually is but this one is definitely stronger than this one so if you are sensitive to fragrance in your skincare or makeup then I don't think this will work out for you because this definitely has a lot of fragrance added to it. Now let's quickly get to the application process but before we get to that don't forget to subscribe to my channel also hit that notification bell right next to it also give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section right below. Now without further ado let's get started. <laughs> So this is me bare skin. Now on this side of my face I'll be applying this Pons BB cream and on this side of my face I'll be applying this Lakme CC cream. Now for both I'll be using a buffing brush as brushes does tend to give more coverage as comparison to a beauty blender. So if you're looking for a more natural coverage you can definitely go in with a beauty blender. Otherwise if you're using this BB or CC cream as a foundation itself I would recommend you to go in with a foundation brush or a buffing brush that in that way you will get the maximum coverage. So I'll be going in with two layers to check how it performs if we layer it up so firstly I'll be taking it on the back of my hand I hope the shade matches me I'll be taking just this much amount and dot it on my face now I'm taking the Swiss Beauty foundation brush and I'll just blend this now this shade is a tad bit too light for me I got the shade 01 original so I think if you are in my skin tone you should get the 02 shade then it will match you is blending pretty well you guys like it feels like my skin like it is giving me a medium coverage like you can still see my scars right here peeping through but but we will build this up to check how much it can cover up I'll be also using this as a concealer when I apply the second layer because I do have a lot of dark circles and I'm hoping it will cover it up so this is how the first layer is looking Currently it is giving me a medium coverage but I think if we build this up to a second layer it will give me that medium high coverage. Now for this side of my face I'll be doing the same. I'll be taking the CC cream on the back of my hand and just dot it out on my skin. I'll be taking a different foundation brush. This is the Cuffs and Lashes F013 brush. Instantly the shade matches 
pretty decent i would say like it is matching my skin to the dot also it is looking a little bit dewy than this side can you see like this side is looking pretty matte i haven't set any of the side but this side is definitely looking a little more dewier than this side now talking about the coverage both of the side is looking pretty much similar right now like this is also giving me a pretty like medium coverage like it isn't hiding those deep dark acne scars that i have right now also it isn't hiding my hyperpigmentation right here so we need to build this up to a second layer to check how much full coverage can it get and this time i'll be mainly focusing on the areas that needs more coverage like around my mouth on the places that i have those acne scars and around my eyes as well it is building up pretty good you guys like i don't have to work it in too much and it isn't looking cakey at all it's looking very good you guys i'm pretty much impressed at this point as i expected with the second layer it is giving me a medium high coverage like my acne scars is pretty much hidden like it is peeking through just a tad bit and also my hyperpigmentation is covered up pretty much but my dark circles are still peeking through and it has gotten a little patchy just here if you can see i don't know like it's kind of separating right here so i'll try to blend it just a little bit more now for this side i'll be doing the same again is it me or it isn't adding any more coverage on the second layer like this side it definitely added a lot of coverage but on this side i'm not able to see a lot of difference on the second layer this blended into my skin so seamlessly but this side is definitely feeling a little more heavy than this side like this side i feel like i have nothing on but this side is definitely giving me that makeup kind of a feeling now talking about the coverage after applying the second layer i think this side has more coverage than this side like my scars on this side are pretty much still visible and my hyperpigmentation is also peeking through another main difference that i feel is that this side is looking more natural while this side is looking like makeup while this side feels more heavier and this side feels more light now let me just set my face complete my makeup and i'll be right back so this is how my skin is looking after i've done the full face of makeup now i've just applied some lipstick some mascara kajal and some blush that's it and i have to say i am shook you guys like i have my thoughts ready but before that you guys take a close look on my skin and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below as to which side is looking better by the way this side is the one with the lakme cc cream and this side on my face is the pons bb cream okay so both of these are really good i have to give them that like even if you have acne prone skin i would say this will look very natural on you for the price point both of this can act as a foundation and not even a sheer coverage foundation like a medium coverage foundation so if you're a teenager and you're on a budget you can definitely definitely get one of these now talking about the major differences that i feel are the lakme one looks more natural like it looks more dewy doesn't have a lot of coverage like it is like medium coverage you can't build it up to like medium high or full coverage it will just give you medium coverage and i think it's perfectly fine while the pons one is giving me slightly more coverage like it is on the medium high coverage range like it is hiding my acne spots pretty well like some of it is still peeking through also in comparison to this side this is definitely matte and after setting my face it has become more matte like my t zone doesn't look shiny at all so that's a great thing if you have oily skin while if you have dry skin i think the lakme one will be more suitable for you so secondly after setting my face the lakme side is emphasizing just a tad bit of my texture like i have a lot of small bumps happening under my mouth area right here 
so on this side it is more emphasized let me zoom you guys a little bit so now that we are zoomed in i hope you can see like this side is having a lot of small textures like my acne spot is also having those pointy edges that i don't like also all the small bumps are pretty much visible on this side while you can see on this side it is very less visible like it isn't visible at all so if you are someone who has a little textured skin i would say don't use this lacme one i would say go with the pons one instead but other than that both the side is definitely looking very good now for the verdict what will i be using personally on a regular basis now for me i would say i would use the pons one cuz i think the shade 2 would match me and secondly i am pretty much of a full coverage girl like i love full coverage anything and it is definitely giving me that medium high to full coverage and i'm loving it also as i mentioned before this doesn't has a lot of fragrance to it so it is a yay yay for me cuz fragrance does irritate my skin a little bit so for me personally the pons one has to be the winner but i know the lacme one is equally good it's just that it is emphasizing a lot of texture on me with that we finish today's video now if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell right next to it also give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section right below until next time bye bye